Yeah. Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy, giving a shout out to my man Drew, Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel, Detroit Drew, bad boy. peeps what's up man it's been a minute just been a lot going on been busy didn't have enough time for youtube through the last couple of weeks and because of all that i had to miss above the rim last night but we're back for a minute so let's go ahead and knock this series out of the way i'm gonna go through i'm gonna do most of the team i don't know if i'm gonna have enough time to do the entire team but we're gonna start here at number one and we're gonna work our way down okay so expect more of these throughout the course of the weeks and uh, hopefully within two weeks, we can cover everybody and have a great time. So let's start with the first overall pick in the 2021 NBA draft, Cade Cunningham. This is going to be a fun year, just because of this guy alone. The hype's there. I don't remember being this excited to watch a team, like in, the, in this case, the Detroit Pistons, since 04, where I'm actually going into the season knowing there's going to be improvements. We might not make the playoffs because we got Cade, but we're going to be in that play-in tournament mix till the very end. We're actually going to be playing some meaningful basketball this year. And we haven't really seen that in quite some time. And again, we've seen it with Blake for a year, and we've seen it with uh, Reggie Jackson and Andre and Marcus Morris and Tobias and KCP. But they never had a core like this it was all thrown together via free agents and trades troy weaver has drafted everybody and i don't want to get too far off track because I'm, I'm feeling it <laughs> but Cade fits in perfectly with what we have built here we've seen him and killian play a little bit together in the summer league and all they need to do is build chemistry and through the course of the year they're going to build chemistry but then you're going to put Cade next to Sadiq Bey, who was the best rookie three-point shooter last year. Broke a lot of NBA records and a lot of team records. And then you pair him up with Jeremy Grant, who was an all-star candidate, I should say. <laughs> and a candidate for most improved. He scored 20-plus a game last year. He shot the ball really well. It's a little inconsistent, but he's going to space the floor. And then he signed a guy like Kelly Olenek, who can space the floor, and he averaged almost 20 last year. You surrounded K with all these different weapons that are going to help him succeed. And then you have guys off the bench like Josh Jackson, Hammy Diallo, uh, Frank Jackson, who are going to come in and, you know, Josh and Hammy are going to run in transition and play defense. That's going to help K when he gets a steal or a rebound and push it. And then you got Frank Jackson, who's going to come in off the bench and just get some buckets. He shot the ball amazing last year. I did not expect that, but that's another weapon for him. And you got Beef Stew, who's going to run the floor as well. I mean, even if we go out on the roster, Cade's going to have a lineup that's going to help him as well as, as much as he helps them. It's going to be a win-win. So without beating around the bush too much, uh, we'll do points first. How much do I think Cade will score per game his rookie year? And I see a lot of people saying 20 and all this. It is very hard for an NBA rookie to score 20. I think he'll be right around 15 and a half. Um, I think that's the medium kind of threshold. Uh, I kind of want to see him get to that 16 or 17, but it's very hard to score as a rookie. And, you know, he's going to have to go against some of the league's best guards in the Eastern Conference. I'm talking Kyrie and Harden. Not sure he'll be defending him, but they're not like they're great defenders. But then you got Drew Holiday, who's a great defender in the East. He's probably going to get guarded by Ben Simmons if we play Philly. I'm not sure what's happening there. <laughs> But the point is, there's going to be a lot of good defenders. So for him to get to that 20-point threshold as a rookie would really be some some high praise. I'm not going to put the mark that high. I think about 15 and a half is a good example. Uh, assist, I'm expecting between three and five assists a game because he's not going to be the primary playmaker. That's going to go to Killian. But when Killian's not out there, 
he is going to facilitate a little bit more. But a lot of what I've seen so far with Cade is he gets a lot more hockey assists too. Whereas he finds an open guy where the defense can rotate, but it also creates another open spot where that guy would kick it there. I've noticed that a lot uh, watching him in the summer league. So I think that's a fair margin for that. Rebounds, he is a terrific rebounder. I, I think with the starting five, we might have one of the best rebounding teams in the league. Killian's a good rebounder. Cade's a good rebounder. Sadiq's a good rebounder. Jeremy Grant, he's okay. But then Beef Stew showed he can get you 20 boards uh, any night. Uh, he happened once last year. And then Kelly Olynyk is going to be in the right spot. He always boxes out and stuff. So I think we should really limit offensive rebounds this year. But in terms of the team, we got some good offensive rebounders as a team. Uh, but I think he'll have about six boards a game. And uh, look at those stat lines. It's very similar to Lamelo, And I think that's kind of where he needs to be his rookie year. Is what Lamelo Ball did to Charlotte. He turned them into playoff contenders and really turned that team around in one year. I think that's the effect we need from Cade. Um, you know, he's the number one overall pick. That is not a high expectation mark for him. That's what he needs to do. So I'm very excited, man. This kid's going to ball and have fun. And I think we as fans are going to have fun right back to watch this rookie. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do his steals and assists. It's kind of, or uh, steals and blocks and all that stuff. It's just kind of hard to predict for him. Uh, just saying I haven't seen him guard NBA defenders yet. So uh, maybe at a later date in time, <laughs> we could talk about that. But I just want to do the three main points, assist, and rebounds for everybody. So that way it's not going to be a 20 minute video. But let me know what you guys think about his predictions, man. What do you guys got for him, points, rebounds, and assist wise? Leave your comments, questions, concerns down below. Uh, I will also be dropping the link for the Detroit Drew shirts. Uh, so far, I'm making more. I got the Drew 316 shirt, and I got an above the rim. It says Free Smoke Saturday, and it's got my name, JMO, and Bravo on the back. So check those out. I'll greatly appreciate that. But without that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. And that's the bottom line because Double D said so. Peace.